Will the budget boxster start? Here goes nothing. Yo, 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 yo. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another beautiful day here in Arizona. Now, as you guys can see, you joined me today in a Tesla, but it's not our Tesla. This is actually a Tesla Model S and it's a loaner vehicle from Tesla because our red Model 3 is currently in service getting some major, major problems and malfunctions sorted. All of a sudden the other day it started going crazy, like braking was messed up, autopilot wouldn't work, regen, everything was going whack. So that's our first major problem with that car, so we'll keep you posted with what it ends up being, but super duper weird. So we're in a P85D today, three seconds, zero to 60, and oh my, this thing's from 2015 and it's still insanely fast. Um, but anyway, today is the day we reveal our new project car. So as you guys saw last video, our black 458 reveal, um, we had an empty truck and trailer coming back to Arizona after we were done dropping off the car with Sergi and the crew up there in Sacramento, California. So Christian and I were like, well, if we have an empty truck and trailer, we might as well buy another car, right? Great logic. Now who can argue with that? So we hopped on the internet, hopped on all the salvage auction sites, and I came across the 2001 Porsche Boxster that was speed yellow, was a manual transmission, and had some damage, but it wasn't all that bad, and they wanted $2,500. But we started going through the pictures more, and I noticed how it has sports seats, specifically like GT3, GT2 sports seats, the hardbacks with the big shoulder bolsters and everything. And I'm like, wait a second, I think those are worth a lot of money. So I hopped on eBay and I found a few listings for around $3,000. So considering the sports seats were worth basically the price of the car at $2,500, the car was basically free. So we immediately hit the buy now button and drove to San Jose to pick the car up. So that's where we're gonna start the clips in just a second here, pick it up. But there you guys go, there's the explanation as to why it's a $500 Porsche. So it's definitely a no brainer. However, the car doesn't run. We picked it up as a non-running car and that is partially because you couldn't get to the battery. The front hood is electronically operated and the battery was dead. So how are you supposed to open the front trunk to get to the battery, to jump the battery to start the car. Long story short, the yard did not go through that process, so we bought the car as a non-runner. So the question is, will we be able to get the car running in this video? You're gonna have to find out, so stay tuned till the end. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Comment down below if you're excited for this project. And without further ado, let's get to San Jose, picking this car up for the first time and bringing it home to Arizona. Here we go. Flashback. All right, prepping for the car to be placed in here. Fingers crossed, we bought this thing sight unseen. We are really hoping it's in the condition as shown in the pictures and that the seats are there and in good shape. Body panels, we're pretty sure it's just the two bumpers that need to be replaced and a couple lights maybe. Here it comes, I see it, there it is, there it is. But the window won't go up. Uh oh, all right, we'll see. Okay, sitting in the budget boxer for the first time. These seats are so comfy and supple. This is a really rare find on a boxer. As you can see, they got the big bolsters. They're equivalent to like GT3 seats. You could buy them in 911s, things like that. They're just the sports seat option, which are really, really rare. And in good shape like this, I know they're, they're dirty. I'll clean them up, no problem. Uh, they're worth a big penny. Um, so I was feeling the clutch just to make sure everything feels good down there. It is so light, almost like too light feeling. I don't know, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Good old manual, thank goodness. I'm liking it so far. Exterior looks pretty good, but we're about to find out. They have the fuse panel lid off, so I wonder why they were in there. Hmm. Uh, the thing is, we're trying to pop the front trunk, but it's electronic and the battery's completely dead. So that could be the reason it was listed as a non-runner because maybe they couldn't access the battery and they didn't want to mess with it because it was only a $2,000 car. So they're like, oh, forget that. So we're about to see if that was the problem all along. So let's see if we can do an emergency release and get this thing open. Right, a few other notes while going around the car. The brakes, I think, are almost brand new all the way around. Almost brand new rotors up here. There's like no lip on them whatsoever. And we got tons of brake pad left in there. Uh, same with the backs, if, if not even better back there. And also, probably the best sign yet. Christian noticed this while strapping it up up here. PCA, 
60th anniversary Porsche Club of America. This is a big deal because obviously this was an enthusiast car, right? Christian, if you're in the PCA, you're a real Porsche guy. That's right. And uh, this thing, I mean, that's a great sign. That probably means this guy really took care of it. Yep, super well maintained. I'm sure he did oil changes every three to 5,000 miles. Looking good so far. The $2,500 Porsche with the $2,000 seats, the $500 Porsche is looking promising so far. The paint's in really good shape. The top is in fabulous shape. Either this thing was like down its whole life and never got in the sun, or I don't know, even the rear screen that's just dusty, it's not bad. I'm liking it. Maybe replace the stitching being white looks a little bit different. Right, white stitching, maybe replace. It looks too good, looks too good. Eventually. All right, that's a wrap. 12 hour drive to Arizona begins now. Quick drive, then we get to Arizona at Quick 3 a.m. Quick drive, all nighter. Quick edit for you guys, and then we will be in Arizona at 3 a.m. 72 hours later. All right guys, we made it back to the warehouse, and this is my first time seeing it with all the other cars. Christian, I heard you had a heck of a time getting it in here, because as they can assume, True. with a bent out wheel, uh, I'm sure moving it wasn't too easy. Yeah. What did you so, do? So we had one of those uh, caster skate dollies to put under the wheel, but in that enclosed trailer, there was a big gap that we had to pass to get back down the ramp, so that was not happening. But luckily, it's just one tow arm that looks to be bent on there, and so we could just uh, hold the wheel pretty straight, and we were okay on that. I've been wanting to fix that, been so excited to fix that, but Jeffrey, you just got back, and so I've been patiently waiting. Film this all on video. There's a lot of work I wanted to do, but. Yes, 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 so much to do today, but it all starts with getting the front trunk open. Yes. The auction where we bought it from was not able to open it, and therefore they weren't able to get to the battery, and therefore they weren't able to jump the car to see if it starts. For anyone else who was bidding on it, they probably just valued it at parts, and that's how we picked it up for so cheap. Yep, so in the meantime, I've been looking up the different ways and to get into that hood, and so I just have a simple little battery trickle charger, but all I'm using this for is to give 12 volts this spot here on the fuse panel, ah. pulling off this cover, and then you'll see, even on here, it says, dead battery, question mark, trying to get your hood open? Yep, that's us. But it's this red emergency looking thing, and you pull it out, oh, and you wow. hook up no way it's this easy, no way. So we're gonna be listening for the front trunk to well, obviously to pop, but we're listening for the motor to go. Come One, on, come on, come two, on, come on. Three. Yep, okay, yes. I heard it. Lift it. I, it, it's not going. Pressing the, the heck. Tell me you guys can hear that. What the heck? Okay, well, I knew we couldn't get this lucky. Um, <laughs> so they must have tried that. I don't know why it's stuck. So obviously, what, the latch is jammed or something? So back to the drawing board. But during my research, I know that there's one more way, or at least on some Porsche forums, people were talking about a emergency manual release up in the driver's okay. side. Um, wheel well. Wheel well. While he's doing that, I mean, take a look, guys. There is so many positives with this car. If you're an astute Porsche enthusiast, you would know these are 911. Well, I guess you could get them on Boxsters too, but not this generation. They call these lobster claw wheels because it kind of looks like a lobster. <laughs> if you ask me, my least favorite part about working on cars, it is dealing with wheel well liners. These things are so annoying. I finally did get it out. It's hard enough to get it out. On, on their own, but even harder when you can't get the wheel off because oh, I was crap. going to take it off and there's darn wheel locks on here and the wheel lock key, couldn't find it anywhere in there. So I'm guessing it's in either the trunk or the frunk. And so I'm not able to get this wheel off. People kind of talk about it here, but then one other video I was watching talked about it going into here, there being a grommet uh, surrounding that hole and then the cable going in through it and look at that the grommet's gone the cable's gone I do not see a manual cable release back to the drawing board part two no there is no more drawing board we will check back with you in a moment uh. after 20 minutes of frantically digging for the solution I think we caught a huge break and Christian worked his magic once again by locating what yes a little bit of a break but also something that we're probably just gonna have to fix because I think we found the cable and it looks like it's either broken or just no longer attached wait a second can you can you get here show this up here wait what where'd you pull that from 
So just kind of hanging up there. Okay, so yank it really hard and let's see if it yeah. pops. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, pretty clean. I don't see any books or manuals. That sucks, but whatever. Maybe we don't need trunk. them. Ooh, tow hook. Yes. That could come in handy. Oh, jackpot. The wheel lock. That Good. little piece of metal will save us oh, tons of stress. So. Battery should be right there. And then we're gonna hook it up to the jumper box right there. And I don't even wanna like count my chickens before they're hatched. But if this thing starts, I will just start seeing dollar signs. Yeah, that really would be great because this car was listed as a non-runner. So that's also why we got a great score on it. And if it is really just this battery, no way, be, no way. That would be awesome. We're not that lucky. That I mean, it makes sense, it makes sense, but this is too good to be true. A free there. Porsche. Literally, we are at a free Porsche with those seats sold once we sell them. I don't know. Guys, comment down below. That's a question we didn't ask yet. Should we sell the GT3 bucket seats and be in the car nothing? Or do we keep them because they are so cool and they hold you in like a glove? Comment down below right now. All right, hook it up, Christian. Let's see if any lights come on. Oh, oh yo, yo, yo. Okay, yes, 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 this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Much later. Well guys, it's been on the charger for about a half an hour. Let's see if we put it to two if anything lights up. Yes! Ooh, we got three quarters of a tank of gas. That's good. Drum roll please, moment of truth. Will the budget boxster start? Here goes nothing. Yo, 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 yo! Yes! You've yes. got to be kidding me. Yes! You're kidding me. Okay, it's in neutral. Let's go here. Doesn't just start, but it starts. No warning lights. Run. Are you kidding me? I didn't even have to give it any gas. It didn't want to die. It started right up, and there is no warning lights. That's just oh. the hood and the seatbelt. Oh, no awesome. freaking way. Oh, it's so quiet. Well, guys, you know I'm going to already ask. Do we need to straight pipe it? That's a yes. That's a yes. These things straight pipe sound so good. Fix that wheel, we fix these bumpers. Lucky for you guys, the part came in. So while we were loading it up on the trailer, of course we were curious what was wrong, and ultimately we found it to be that rear tow arm. And so, Boxster parts are a dime a dozen on eBay. Unreal. So while I was gone on the East Coast, he bought this, and it already showed up uh, literally like an hour ago. And what is it? What do we have here? So, Wait, that's it? Yeah. You're saying that's the only thing that's causing our wheel to kick out? Yep, because because all it is is going crazy left and right, so that's the toe. And so this guy, no off way. Of another Boxster, How much? How much? Like twenty-three dollars shipped. Twenty-three dollars <laughs> to fix our broken suspension, messed up looking wheel. Okay, let's see if we can get in the engine and then we'll give it a rev, see how it sounds. Okay, it works, this is a good sign. And then we come back here. So literally it's just a little ball and socket that you pop off. It's just like you're popping off a hood strut or anything Boom. like that. Boom, okay, so now. Hey, down. okay, there we go, easy. Down on the other side. So yep, just push straight down. There, progress. Now the engine is behind here. If you guys didn't know, boxers utilize a 2.7 liter, at least this model, the base model, 2.7 liter, Flat six. So this is our first flat six. It's our first ever Porsche without a four cylinder. Ha ha. We're moving up in this world. All right. $2,000 Porsches. Yeah. So we take that off. Now we got one more to go. So many covers. Yeah. Here we go. Our power plant. Here we are. All right. Cool. Maybe I'll clean it real quick while it's out and then uh, we'll look for any red flags and then we'll put it back together, get some revs and uh, get going. Here we go. And just like that, we have one clean Boxster engine bay. Like we said, no one's gonna see this, but hey, it is proven scientific fact that if you clean your engine bay, your car runs better. So now with that done, we can go ahead and close everything back up. Solid job, scrubbing bubbles and paper towels and a bunch of elbow grease.
All right, just finished up the engine, but Christian, what are you working on? You give him a little sneak peek of what's to come next video, what well, you're gonna be working on? Gonna get dirty, so I got my birdie at the good gloves on. All right, here we go. Let's reveal what's broken. So, what went wrong? Okay, I see one broken piece. I'm guessing it's that. Look at that, the Starfighter looking thing from Star Wars. Is TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter. I think you mean I beam Jeffrey, and here is the replacement part. How long is this gonna take you? Not very long. So we are gonna save this and the first drive for next video. So hopefully that's if everything else goes good with the transmission, the clutch, make sure that's all in good shape. But there you guys have it. Christian, I know you're in love with this car. You're all about Porsches. Porsches is what got us into cars. Like, let's be real here, 944s, the OG Porsches. So to have one back in the garage, it feels pretty awesome. Comment down below if you own a Boxster. If you owned one or know someone who owns one, I think it's a really cool car and it's gonna be exciting to have a fun little build here on the channel. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. I mean, the big parts, we're getting it running, which it's already running, so it wasn't too hard in the way of that. And uh, now we just gotta get driving it. And we gotta source two bumpers, so if you know, if you have any leads on a front or a rear bumper, let us know. This thing's gonna be up and running in no time. And we're gonna have a fun, manual, top-down, Arizona-loving Porsche for free. Once we sell the seats, that's when we're gonna get to work finishing this up, get this bad boy on the road. We will see you in the next video, hopefully in like two or three days, not a week. I know we've been behind with uploads. Sorry, we get behind, but we're gonna get back on our game. So subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video, like, like the video if you enjoyed it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, have a good day.